day and thank you for watching the ACS Library. My name is Kyle and I aim to help you prepare for the private pilot checkride for free in under five minutes a day. Today we continue in covering meteorology and weather theory. We cover icing. Aircraft icing is a hazard as it increases aircraft weight and drag while reducing lift and thrust. All of these effects either slow the aircraft or force it towards the ground. Other hazards include erroneous instrument readings, decreased engine performance, and loss of operation of control surfaces, landing gear, or brakes. Basically all clouds have the potential to cause icing. The greater the water content, the greater the icing risk. Expect the heaviest icing typically just above the freezing level, as the higher up we go, the more already formed ice we will find. These already formed ice crystals should bounce off of the aircraft rather than sticking. The three types of icing we will cover are induction icing, instrument icing, and structural icing. Induction icing, or put simply, ice accumulation blocking air from reaching the engine, is possible in both carbureted and injected fuel systems. Typically induction icing is encountered as a result of either impact icing collecting and eventually blocking the air filter, or carburetor icing as the air pressure drops inside of the Venturi, causing rapid cooling of moisture-rich air. Carp heat should fix this right up, though one may experience engine roughness as the melted ice is pulled through the engine. Don't let this alarm you. Instrument icing occurs as the pitot tube and or outside static source ice over, causing the airspeed indicator, altimeter, and vertical speed indicator to be rendered erroneous or even inoperable in more severe cases. Most aircraft are equipped with pitot heat, and some are equipped with static source heating. An alternate static source may be available. A spike in the three instruments mentioned above may occur as the alternate static source is activated. Structural icing occurs when there is visible moisture present and the temperature at the point where the moisture strikes the aircraft is at zero degrees Celsius or colder. Almost all structural icing occurs between an outside air temperature of zero and negative 20 degrees Celsius. Supercooled water droplets or raindrops below zero degrees Celsius that remain unfrozen may increase the rate of structural ice accumulation, freezing upon impact against the skin of the aircraft. Beware of supercooled water droplets in zones of temperature inversion where rain is falling into a freezing zone below, and moist air blowing upslope may result in supercooled water droplets as well. There are three types of structural icing, clear, rime, and mixed. Clear ice forms when, after impact, a water droplet continues to spread, freezing slowly as a smooth sheet of hard, heavy, tough-to-remove ice. Clear ice is the most dangerous to encounter. As the name states, it is clear, making it harder to recognize than rime ice, heavier, and forms horns near the tops and bottoms of leading edges, greatly disrupting airflow. Avoid cumuliform clouds as clear ice may rapidly accumulate, especially between temperatures of 0 and negative 15 degrees Celsius. Rime ice is formed by smaller droplets freezing rapidly before having time to spread. It has a white, opaque appearance. The weight of rime ice is relatively negligible, as it is so light. The danger of rime ice, instead, lies in its rough surface greatly reducing the aerodynamic efficiency of the aircraft. Rime ice is more easily removed than clear ice. In terms of rime icing, vertical avoidance is recommended. Climb or descend out of the icing zone. Mixed ice, or a combination of clear and rime ice, is formed when drops vary in size or there are snow or ice particles mixed in with liquid drops. Mixed ice builds a very rough and heavy accumulation. All ground icing should be cleared prior to taxi and takeoff as it greatly reduces aircraft efficiency. Taxing through puddles may result in seriously hazardous icing on or in the wheel wells, brakes, etc. This concludes today's video over icing. Thank you very much for watching, and I hope, if you've enjoyed the video, that you might like it, share, or subscribe to keep track of new videos. Feedback in the comments section is always appreciated. Thanks again and safe flying.